Rohingya crisis is seemingly deepening with Bangladesh relocating a large number of these refugees to an island in the Bay of Bengal. While the government says that it is taking decision in the interest of the refugees who were living in overcrowded camps, the rights group and international organizations, including the United Nations, have urged Dhaka to keep the process voluntary. The authorities have also been accused of coercing refugees into registering themselves for transportation through one method or another. Last Friday, around 1,600 Rohingya refugees who have been provided a shelter by Bangladesh for over three years were shipped to a remote island of Bhasanchar in the Bay of Bengal. A few hundreds were already shifted before this. Dhaka says it plans to relocate 2,500 families to a remote island owing to the chronic overcrowding in the refugee camps in Cox's Bazar. The move has triggered strong reactions from right groups and international organizations that say their transportation is not consensual and the island is not equipped with even basic facilities. Dhaka has rubbished all charges and said that it has made every possible arrangement on the island. माने आस्तुनालक मानुष दस लाख फिर जनता मानुष ऐसे कंट्रेस चिलम इश्क़ गोनो बोझ थी तो आरे यान तो जब मुक्ति भाई बल्ला बोली अखना साफ़ हमें बल्ला बोली आरे आरे एक लाख फिर जनता मानुष ऐसे लारी बल्ला बोली हो। While the media has not been able to access the location thus far, Dhaka has claimed through graphics and images that the new settlements will abide by all humanitarian and refugee laws. It says it can accommodate up to 100,000 people in these homes. However, a few refugees claiming off the record that they were forced into putting their names on the list has prompted a controversy against the government. Even the United Nations has expressed its apprehension over the developments. United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, Filippo Grandi, through a tweet, urged Bangladesh government to ensure the process is voluntary and an informed decision. The Rohingya crisis erupted in August 2017 following attacks on remote police outposts in Western Myanmar by armed groups alleged to belong to the community. These were followed by counter-attacks against the Rohingya, which human rights groups, including senior UN officials, have said amounted to ethnic cleansing. In the weeks that followed, over 700,000 Rohingya, the majority of them children, women and the elderly, fled their homes for safety in Bangladesh. The camps in Bangladesh, which already had 200,000 refugees living, were overwhelmed. Since then, the only roof over these refugees has been the unhygienic, overcrowded, flimsy shelters of Cox's Bazar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Repatriation, even after several attempts, has failed and most of the people have developed a desperate urge to move out of this confinement. Some say they don't mind risking their relocation to Ireland for it will take them away from monotony and unendurable density of population in the camps.